I'm Richard Roper, and just think of that moment when you and seven of your friends approach the ticket window and say, eight for a good old-fashioned orgy, please. My review right now. A good old-fashioned orgy is the latest entry in the R-rated, raunchy comedy derby, but even though there's some nudity, lots of amorous grappling, and loads of sex talk, it kind of hedges its bets in the big climax, so to speak. Jason Sudeikis, to me, is kind of like a clean-cut Bill Murray light on screen. He's a wise-cracking cad who charms the ladies, but he's also a guy's guy. In a good old-fashioned orgy, Sudeikis plays Eric. He's the classic movie comedy guy who's more interested in throwing outrageous theme parties than in actually growing up. Is this about earlier? When you first came out, I thought you were strippers, because that was an accident. You're just very attractive, and those uniforms are banging. But now his dad is putting the beach house on the market, and many of Eric's friends are facing life-changing decisions. The obvious solution? One last big, unforgettable blowout. Labor Day weekend. We need to think outside of the box. All right. We're going to have an orgy. Ew! Because this movie was written and directed by two men, most of the guys are slobs and nerds, while the women are all gorgeous. Tyler Labine has the John Belushi, Chris Farley, Jack Black, Dan Fogler role as the wide-bodied maniac. Will Forte is now married and kind of missing out on all the fun. The funny and beautiful Lake Bell is a counselor who never stops counseling. And Leslie Bibb plays the realtor trying to sell the beach house. That's not distracting at all. Oh, oh. I lied. It was a little distracting. Even in a broad comedy, it's a stretch to believe these good friends would ever agree to an orgy, especially the guy with the girlfriend. What, he's just going to share and then they're going to go back to being buddies? But a good old-fashioned orgy does provide plenty of laughs in the build-up as the boys research the ways of the orgy and the women convince themselves, yeah, this is a good idea. I don't know how you could have sex in front of a room full of people. I mean, I don't even like to get naked at the spa. As for the good old-fashioned orgy, and yes, I'm issuing a spoiler alert. It's as awkward and as funny as you might expect it to be, but then things do get rather heated, and that's when the filmmakers and the actors sort of chicken out. If you sign on to do a movie about an orgy, it seems kind of ridiculous to do the old cover the boobs with the elbows move. As for the guys, none of them have the balls, so to speak, to go the Jason Segel forgetting Sarah Marshall route. Labor Day. I'm in. Yes. Oh, my, and I'm fully shaved. I'm making these observations not as a man who was hoping to see Lake Bell naked, but as a serious film reviewer critiquing the film's lack of artistic integrity. That's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Quibbles aside, the talented cast in a good old-fashioned orgy actually make you believe they're longtime friends, even with that ridiculous setup and the uneven payoff. So I'm going to give this movie a B-. I'm Richard Roper. You can get all my reviews at richardroper.com and on Reels Channel TV about movies.